So I've just finished watching the first episode. And did it live up to expectations? Yes, of course it did. What an amazing bloody first episode. Hi guys, so welcome back to Wentworth Life, the YouTube channel that talks everything Wentworth. Okay, so Blood Wedding. It certainly lived up to its name, didn't it guys? So just before we continue, warning, this will contain spoilers from the first episode, so please do not watch this video until you've seen the episode. Unless you love spoilers, like me. <laughs> anyway, let's jump straight into it. So, the episode starts and it's three months down the line. Rita has been in the slot for the past three months, but she is left out at the start of the episode. And Mari has been given 15 years. The news literally spreads around the prison and Mari is really, really pissed off and she basically says that everyone is now going to pay. Rita is also told that she is looking at 15 years herself. While Mari is brought back into Wentworth, she comes with another new character called Kylie, who is apparently inside for murder herself. Rita's back in population and Kaz instantly warns Rita that Mari is coming for the both of them. And I'm really pleased that Kaz and Rita have more or less teamed up or at this stage they've definitely got each other's backs. So I'm really, really happy about that. Liz. Poor Liz. Um, her dementia has definitely deteriorated over the last three months. But what I'm loving at the moment is that Boomer is going out of her way to look after Liz. Um, there's a really great scene where Boomer is helping Liz make a map of the prison so Liz doesn't get lost. Ray is back on the scene and he still wants to marry Rita. He comes in for a visit but Rita is still adamant that she, you know, she can't marry him because she's looking at 15 years and it wouldn't be fair on Ray. Uh, but Ray isn't given up because he hires a plane that flies over the prison during one scene. And in the sky, attached to the plane is letters saying, Rita, will you, ma will you marry me, Rita? Sorry, that's what it said. Um, so Rita feels like she has no other choice but to tell Ray the truth about being a police officer. Ray seems a bit peed off at first and leaves the prison and Rita thinks that is that but Ray does come back later in the episode and basically he tells Rita that he doesn't care. He believes that she does love him and eventually Rita agrees to marry him which is a really really cool scene you know Ray jumps up in the business room and is basically like, we're getting married, and oh, it's a really, really good scene. Vera, okay, so we've got a heavily pregnant Vera, she's still governor, Jake seems to be there interfering, but to be fair to Jake, he is the baby's father. Um, I th we've, we learn in the episode that the officers know that Jake is the daddy, but the prisoners don't know who the daddy is at this stage. It's heavily implied in the episode that Vera is taking on a bit too much, um, because during one scene in the yard, while she's walking with Will Jackson, the women are playing a game of basketball, and Costa ends up throwing the ball narrowingly at Vera, almost causing her to fall, but Will manages to catch her. But there's also another scene a little bit later on down the line that I'll discuss in regards to Vera's pregnancy. There is a new character called Dr. Greg Miller, who is very easy on the eye. Um, he seems to be a nice character at this stage, but I do feel that there's definitely something underneath that nice personality. Something doesn't ring true. And in one of the trailers, it was announced that we learn a secret of a certain character that completely changes the game of the season. So it wouldn't surprise me if Greg Miller is the one with a huge secret. Mari tells Will in one scene that they need to stop with their affair because eventually they're going to get caught and then Will will get the sack. Um, 
I don't think Mari actually has any feelings for Will. I think she's just mind fucking him at the moment. But later on in the episode, Will goes to Vera's office and tells her that he wants to resign and that he should have done it a long time ago. Vera tr does her best to persuade him not to leave. Um, but, you know, at this stage, Will just wants to leave and he tells her that she's going to be leaving in about two weeks' time. Mari's, well, one, one of Mari's contacts comes to the prison to visit her. And basically, he tells her that, you know, she's lost her bottle. She has no respect from any of her workers anymore. She promised revenge for Drago, but nothing has been done. Um, I think we've been made under the impression that Mari was told by her solicitors to keep her head down over the last three months. I'm hoping that it would help her sentencing, but obviously Mari did get 15 years, so Mari is definitely out for blood. Back on to the new character of Kylie. Okay, so it's clear that she is a very heavy drug user. Um, so she scores some drugs in the visiting room, uh, but she's unfortunately spotted by one of Kaz's crew. So when Kylie goes to the shower block to take her drugs, Kaz and her crew follow her in take the drugs off Kylie and they flush it down the sink, causing Kylie great discomfort and she's clearly gutted, but unaware that Mari is in the shower and she has actually watched what's happened. So what does Mari do? Well Mari takes this opportunity to score some more drugs off Costa to give to Kylie, but this is only on the condition that Kylie gets rid of Kaz, which Kylie agrees to because Kylie basically turns around and says she hates Kaz uh, for flushing down her drugs down the toilet, down, down the sink, big pardon. So later on, Kylie goes and she attacks Kaz in the unit with a knife, completely wrecking the cell before Miss Miles and another officer tackle her. But Kylie, being right off it on ice, she manages to get away from Miss Miles, runs down the corridor and takes Vera hostage, threatening to cut Vera's baby out of his stomach. Miss Miles immediately alerts all the staff um, that there's a hostage situation and ends up going out into the yard in front of all the women and all the officers. Um, you know, Kylie has clearly got some sort of mental issues and she's obviously off her face on ice so that's definitely not a good combination. Jake is doing his best, to, you know, he's telling her to get off Vera and things and there's nothing really that any of them can do at this stage because she is literally poking that knife into Vera's belly like any more and that knife is going in. It's proper edge of your seat stuff I'll be honest, I was really really like had hands over my face at this point. Um, and she seems determined to cut the baby out of Vera's stomach in front of everyone. But luckily, Dr. Greg Miller manages to get Kylie, well, manages to talk her around and get Vera free from Kylie. And Kylie is sedated then by the nurse. Um, it's at this stage Vera decides she needs to take a step back. And she convinces Will to take over as acting governor for a couple of months and then he can resign with her blessing. Just when you think things can't get any worse, it's wedding time at Wentworth. So this is a, I really, really like this scene. You know, it was a really happy scene, even though it's short lived, but Rita is accompanied by her sister Ruby to the wedding reception. It seems like a very happy moment. Ray arrives at Wentworth in the car park on his motorbike. And um, he's fully suited and booted and looking very smart indeed. Um, he keeps cutting back to Rita, looking happy, you know, waiting for Ray. Ray heads over to Wentworth and just as the gate opens, an unknown two assailants drive up behind him on a motorbike and they literally blast Ray away. I mean, literally with a shotgun, they completely blow him apart outside Wentworth. Um, it's clear to me who did it because when the guy lifted up the thing on his helmet it was obviously the guy that had come in to visit Mari earlier on in the episode. So Mari obviously organised the shooting. Miss Miles has to break the news to Vera and Vera then has to tell Rita at the wedding that Ray has been killed, leaving Rita absolutely distraught screaming and crying she just wants to go to Ray but unfortunately Ray's dead and oh it was it was such a tragic ending to an, an amazing episode 
because let's face it guys this was an absolutely amazing episode opener it's definitely be the best one that we've seen in a long time a lot happened in this episode i'm not even sure if i've covered everything um but i think i've covered the most important parts me personally i am going to rate this episode an 8 out of 10 it was absolutely outstanding, but I do feel there's a lot more to come. But the whole episode was amazing because it had everything. It had edge of your seat drama, it had happy moments, it had shocks. It had literally everything. It had sad moments with Liz, obviously with Rita being distraught at the end. I think it was near perfect, if I'm de to be fair. And it set up the rest of the season perfectly now. So what's next? Well, if you haven't seen the trailer for next week, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. But it's quite clear that Rita does come to realise that Mari organised the shooting on Rain, and the episode is called Payback. Also, the clips that we've seen of somebody lighting some sort of firebomb device thing, that happens in next week's episode. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Kaz who lights it. I'm not sure. It could actually be Mari. It's one or the other. I'm not 100% sure. But next week looks like it's going to be epic as well. What did you think of the first episode, guys? I'd be really interested to know. I have heard people say that they felt it was a little bit rushed just because a lot happened in the first episode. But to be fair, guys, this season only has 10 episodes. So to kick off the season, I think a lot needed to happen. So what would you rate out of 10 this episode? Are you enjoying the season so far? Obviously, there's a lot more to come, guys. Tell me, what was your favorite part of the episode? And is there anything that you didn't like about the episode? Let me know in the comments box below. Now all we gotta do is wait another week for the next episode and the struggle is real guys, I am really struggling at the moment. But as soon as any more spoilers resurface I will be making more videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button for any latest Wentworth news and gossip. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you soon.